guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you guys don't know who I am I am a trusted chameleon and I am back with another video as you can tell from the title I'm doing another skincare video I'm obsessed and addicted I love buying skincare products and trying them out because I'm a weirdo I'm gonna get right into it I am trying the Freeman legendary pore clearing peel off mask with volcanic ash by the way happy Martin Luther King Day um, it is a day of remembering his life and his dream but you know what there's still segregation and inequality in this world because they're making face masks only for men I absolutely hate when companies gender products so face masks can't be genderless like they have to be for opposite genders and sexes like what I was very interested I saw this in Walmart yesterday and I was like okay I'm gonna pick this up because it seems weird it smells very weird too like it smells like a man scent so I wouldn't recommend wearing this like during the daytime unless you want to smell like super cologne -y. it says it deep cleans and it's easy removal because you know men can't do anything to their face that's why they don't like wearing makeup for the most part so yeah I was like maybe men's products are stronger than women's and sometimes they are like shavers are other products do tend to be more effective than women's products because women's products are lightweight or you know soft or whatever I just wanted to test this out and see if the men's peel off mask is more effective than a typical woman's I have tried a peel off mask before uh, I'll link it up here it was a glitter one and I've had a couple ones in the past too that I didn't film but I want to try this one out on camera so this is what the bottle looks like it's just a plain black bottle it matches my nails <laughs> it just says leave on five to ten minutes until dry just apply it on your face like a normal peel off mask and then just peel it off and then rinse the rest with water I'm just going to put this on my face and I am using a brush too because peel off masks tend to be very very sticky so this is what it looks like it's just your plain gooey mask put it on my finger oh yeah it's just your plain typical charcoal looking peel off mask I'm just gonna apply it on the back of my hand and then pick up the product with my brush Ooh, I kind of put a lot on my hand right there and I don't have a mirror so I'm just gonna use the viewfinder I'm just starting right here and don't worry you guys I made sure that my skin for the most part was clear of baby hairs and stuff because it was painful AF last time oh <laughs> it smells like straight-up Jordache cologne <laughs> Calgon for men cologne yeah I would not recommend putting this on the daytime unless you want your face to smell like cologne okay I'm blind so I'm gonna grab a mirror cuz I can hardly see what I'm doing <laughs> Yeah, I'm just putting a little bit more so it can cover my entire face I do feel like it's taking a lot of product just to get it all over my face, but I do have a big face. I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Oh no, I put this all on my sideburns. Wow, that was really dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna regret that for the rest of my life. Oh my God. Okay, so I am done applying the mask. I think I did a rather even coverage, so I'm just gonna let this sit for five to ten minutes yeah I can already feel it hardening it feels really cooling and refreshing um, it does smell very strong unfortunately and I really don't like that but yeah it looks like it's working so far and this is gonna hurt in ten minutes but you know what do the pain for YouTube <laughs> so I will check back with you guys in a bit Hey guys I am back and this face mask is very very dry I can hardly talk very very normal with peel off 
or hardening mask. Let me zoom in so I can show you what my face looks like right now. So I zoomed in on my nose because you can clearly see the pores in my nose almost like become extracted because of this mask. I can clearly see my sebum and some of my whiteheads on my nose. Like I could almost see every single pore almost like lift up because of this. So I'm really hopeful that it will kind of extract really well on my nose. My skin around here is very, very tight. As you can tell, it's kind of like buckling and folding up right here. My forehead looks pretty much dry. Everything is really dry and it's just begging for me to take this off so I am so ready but I'm not ready because it's gonna hurt over here <laughs> I'm gonna start with my chin like normal and just try to peel up it's kind of thin actually this mask dries very very thin um, unlike my glitter peel off mask so I feel like it will be a little bit more difficult to peel off but I don't know I'm just gonna go in and pray that it doesn't hurt so bad <laughs> I'm just gonna start up here and just like to peel up the edges just so I can kind of have like an even peel off okay that side is pretty much done so now I'm just gonna work my way around So far, it's not too painful. Okay, ow, that kind of hurt. Oh wow, it didn't hurt over here. But I do have this section right here. Okay, so the section by my sideburns uh, is too flimsy, so I'm gonna have to wash that off. I pretty much got most of the mask up, so I'm just gonna try to peel it off now. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so I got most of the mask from my lower part of my face up. Ow, 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 okay. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> it was like small amounts of stinging. See how the nose does. I'm really curious about the nose. Ew, that looks so gross. Okay, so there is my nose, and I'm just gonna have to wash that off. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my forehead. So I got most of the mask off. I just have to wash off a little bit of the remnants of it because there's still some pieces that I couldn't quite get off but for the most part it peeled off pretty even and it was really easy to peel off as well like it wasn't too hard and it wasn't really stubborn like my other mask so yeah I will be back in a second Hi guys, I am back and I did put some vitamin E oil on my face. My face feels so soft and glowy and I really feel like the mask helped bring out my vitamin E oil. It just feels so good. My skin just feels so nice even despite my breakouts. So I'm just going to talk about my final thoughts on the product. I give it a 9 out of 10 and I think that's pretty good because it works really really well especially on my nose. I am naturally oily especially on my t-zone and I do have a lot of sebum on my nose especially if I use cushions or use abundance of concealer and stuff I do have clogged pores and sebum a lot all the time and so I'm always uh, exfoliating and making sure that my pores are semi clean or as clean as possible the only reason why I didn't get a 10 out of 10 is because of the smell unfortunately the smell still kind of lingers even after you wash it off um, like I said before when I open the product I would definitely recommend only using this at night unless you're a man and want to smell like that or even if you're a woman and want to smell like cologne I mean that's totally up to you but personally I don't want to smell like this during the day and I feel like this would even overpower perfumes or scented lotions that I would wear the glitter face mask that I used was kind of more marketed towards women so do I feel that men peel off face masks or men products work more 
I don't know. I can't speak for all men skincare products, but I can speak for this one that this does work better than a female peel off mask that I've tried. I just feel like it really helped extract my nose a lot better. My unicorn mask was not peel off and it really helped too, but as far as the peel off mask, I really do think that this one does work. There is one made for women, I think, or more for like a gender neutral kind of product but I don't know I just feel like this one may work better and this is really cheap to you guys this is only $3.27 at Walmart I don't know where else they sell this I think they sell it on Amazon too but it's really really cheap and you get a lot of product like this will easily last you six months to a year with frequent use so I definitely recommend you picking it up so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to comment down below have you tried a men skincare product especially if you're a lady also have you tried any other peel off mask are there any that you would recommend let me know be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like skincare videos and want to see me try all types of weird skincare products I love doing these type of videos and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in general. Alrighty, you guys. I will see you in the next one. I'm probably going to take a nap or like watch YouTube because I'm just lazy. It's MLK Day and I don't have class. So <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Stay colorful. Bye-bye.